Okay, good afternoon. Um, this is a special video because I got invited by my good friend Chris to come back over to his house and check out one of his other cars. Now, you remember Chris because uh, his 69 Mach 1 is one of the most popular videos here on my YouTube channel. So he's inviting me back over today to take a look at one of his other cars. So first of all, hey Chris. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, okay, so tell us what you've got here. This is a 1963 Ford Falcon Futura. Oh man, look how cute this little car is. 289, I'm not sure quite the year yet. I haven't researched the uh, vin the, co the numbers off decoded the motor yet. Yeah. Something about doing things to it, but it's got a 289 with a four speed, top loader with a Hurst shifter. Um, I'm not sure quite on the gears in the rear end yet. Okay, it's, so I've, it's- I've had it's, this car for a couple years. I haven't played around with it too much. But it's a, it's a three pedal car. Oh yeah, it's, it's definitely- We love that. Oh, it looks like it's still got the original AM radio in it too. Interior. Gosh, look how clean this thing is. Somebody took the time with the interior, the headliner. So this has all been redone in here? Yes, sir. And the seats, remember they always, they always went on the 45? Yeah, yeah. Kind of cool so you get in so you don't have to, so it doesn't go, traditionally they always go like this. Right. And they hit the horn. and Right. So it hits the steering wheel first and then you got actually more room because it's on, they, they were just ahead of their time back then. They thought yeah. about a little. They were thinking about it. Creature you know? comforts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you remember the uh, tilt-away steering wheels? Yep, just like on the mock. Yeah, yeah. That's, I mean, that's genius. This doesn't have that, but yeah. What a what a beautiful little car. Okay, just pardon me again. Yes, what sir. year? What year was this? Sixty-three. Sir. Sixty-three Falcon Futura. And now, did you buy it the way that we're looking at it yes, right sir. here? Yes, sir. This this car here, I did not own for thirty-three. I've only owned it for this is going in my third year. Okay. I bought this out of California as is okay I and just keep the maintenance clean you know i asked that because i know that you put a whole lifetime into oh, the mach one yes. so this was as is so that was nice and it's not as perfect as the mach one i don't it's not on the same quality level as far as perfection yeah i mean it's a straight solid car just it's not you know it's got its little scratches here and there yeah and you got a little chip in the door down there you can see the paint but i mean i can get that fixed but yeah but overall it's just it's straight and it's beautiful same thing, other side, no difference. Everything in here. Very nicely done interior. You're right. Whoever whoever redid the interior, they did a really oh. nice job. The carpet is right out of beautiful. <clears throat> Dash is outstanding. Original AM Steel radio dash. in there. Controls. Extra half market gauges obviously down below. Yes. Her shifter, yeah. four yeah. speed top loader. Yeah. Okay. So I always like the old quarter windows. I always like those because oh. that's like the AC. That's yeah. The, that's the AC right there. Yeah. You open those and the wind hits it and it comes in. That's your AC. I remember those. <laughs> let's uh, let's peek under the hood here. Yes, sir. Because this has got the original 289, right? It's got a 289. I'm not sure of the year of it. Because when these came out, the V8s they always had six cylinders, but the, when they got went to the they called it the Sprint model. They those had like the 260s, which was a V small V8. 289s is a whole different animal. Right. And I'm not sure the, you know, like I said, I haven't played with this too much, but I mean, it runs great, starts up great, it's totally functional, um, no complaints. Doesn't Run. leak. Doesn't leak. Um, I can't really, I mean, it'd make a great everyday car, but I just, it's it's still too nice to drive to work and leave in a parking lot. Yeah. I but you, you getting dented or. You said it runs like a champ though, oh, right? Fires right. Oh, yeah. Do you think maybe this is not the original motor? I would, I would, I would say I'm thinking so. Yeah. To my best of my knowledge, I bought it from the guy. I bought it was actually a younger guy in his 30s. He had it for a few years, but he bought it and then he got in some financial hardships. He mm -hmm. uh, broke his leg. Long story short, and he had to sell it. Yeah. And he he wouldn't budge off the price. He wanted 30 grand. I gave him 30 grand because okay. I know what it takes after doing a full restoration. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, you know what? It's worth 30 grand to me. Everybody's different. I know what it takes to have a nice body. It yeah. To get, it's got everything it needs. I mean, everybody says, just leave it alone. Just yeah. Drive it the way it is, keep it clean and maintenance, and you don't have to do nothing. Well, I, well, I was like me, but you know me, I. You got to take it. If I keep it, I was thinking about selling it, but I don't know, man. Every time I, I don't know, man. Because I, I know you, you got a motor tucked away somewhere, don't oh, you? Oh, yes, in the garage, man. Yeah. I was th I've been thinking a lot of ideas, man. This could be a, I can make this into a true gasser. I mean, there's so many things I could do with this. Yeah. I could put subframe connectors underneath, box it in, weld in some. I mean, these are unibodies, obviously. Right. 
So, I mean, they'll twist. Yeah. And put a lot of stress on the torque boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I really want to make this true racer style, this would be a perfect quarter mile car. I mean, those things yeah. don't, these things don't weigh maybe 2,500. Actually, 2, one of the one of the Falcons that I saw at the SEMA show this last year was a straight quarter mile car. It was built to drag race. I had a 62 years ago when I was in my 20s, and it had a chrome straight drop axle in the front. Shock mounts were cut out. Yeah. Had stainless steel put in on the side so you get a reflection of the motor in it. Yeah, nice. And it run on aviation fuel. That was my uh, <laughs> that was my uh, quarter mile car. I love it. This here is just you know something you can just jump in and drive the loft on. So that but that may answer one of my questions here too is why this car? Why did you buy this Falcon? Well, you had one before. Well, I had a '62. This was '63, and when I had that, the '62s were a little higher up, more of a bubble look. They had a, they, they raised up higher. They didn't yeah. have the slant laid back. They got more aerodynamic. Yeah. Later. Yeah. And I just, I don't know. I seen that, and I think part of it was because I had a '62. Yeah. So I kind of was partial, but I, they were just, this, and that was a badass, quick car, man. No yeah. body weight. Yeah. That was yeah, yeah. Built 351 I had in it. That thing ran on, oh, ab gas. It, I, was, I mean, if the body on was like this, perfect. Well, the power to weight ratio. Oh, man. You know. That thing would fly. Uh, you know, especially if you had it reinforced to manage the torque, you know. If I went through this property, I could turn this into a, oh, a real good bracket race. Oh, I, mean, I could do all kinds of things. That's tempting, this. isn't it? It's, it's getting in everybody's, just drive it, man. You know? <laughs> just drive it and leave it original. Stop, stop tinkering around with your cars. It, don't cut into it. Don't, yeah, yeah. You know, don't mess up the fender. You know, don't, don't tug it out. Don't. Everybody said, just leave it alone, man. Don't tub it out. Don't cut the, you know, don't do the short and narrow the rear end and yeah. do all that kind of stuff. And I'm like, you know, I don't know if I could get away with it. This is a little cool feature, I think. They were, they paid such a, these, these windows fully functional, roll down. Everybody's got their own little window there to crank right there. Yeah. These come down and they were just, they were just so attention to detail. And this right here, I like, it's probably simple, but I always like this spring loaded. It hides away so, you know, moisture doesn't get in there. And, you know, it's yeah. nothing major, but I always thought that was a pretty cool uh, little thing. I'll give you a shot of the trunk so you can see how clean it is. Oh, my gosh. That is so clean. That is so clean. You can get right down in there and you put your hands down in there. It's solid. There's no... It's a totally rust-free car. <laughs> yeah. I climbed underneath this thing. I've had it on a lift once. Yeah. When I went to my tire shop to have the tires rotated, my buddy at discount. Yeah, I got up under, I wanted to check it out real good on the lift, because you know, on your back's different. And the underside is flawless, huh? No holes, no, I, I, I was looking for something, but yeah, I, I was like, wow. So I guess my 30,000 was a good investment. Uh-huh, I think so. As far as rust repair and stuff. I mean, yeah, there's like, you know, my at least I point out, there's a chip in that door over there, and like, oh, right here. See well, that right yeah, that's that's somebody the, might have dragged a hose maybe back in me or something. I'm thinking yeah, that's but. the stuff that you notice that nobody else notices, at least on first blush. You well, know? I mean, the trim, the sill plates, yeah, the dash is steel, the, the bright work. I mean, I mean, it's that's what you pay for, yep. And even this trim out here, sure, it's not as perfect as the mock, but you got you see little subtle abrasions over the years, but I mean, yeah. it's but it's not dented all up, it's not yeah. beat up, yeah, it's yeah, not like somebody looked like took a hammer to it, like some of the old work, yeah. Yeah. Like somebody just, you know, so somebody took their time with it. Well, this is this is as close to perfect as you can get. For I the think. money. Yeah, for the money without... For what I have invested in. Without it. doing everything on it all yourself. I didn't have to do it. I already did that one car in there. I, I don't want to do it in one of those. That's too long. <laughs> That's too long. Well, yeah, That's I know. I just want to buy it and enjoy it. Yeah, I know. For those that uh, wonder, look for the video here on this channel on Chris's 69 Mach 1, and you will really be impressed. It's so good, there's actually two videos on it. I shot one at night. And night yeah, and then I thought, no, we gotta, we gotta see this in the daytime. So uh, I did another one, and both of them got thousands of views. <laughs> Look up other, Chris's other videos here on the channel, but... Um, this car's just a different animal, but it's, it's its its own little... Yeah. It's its own little world. How does it, how does it sound when you start it up? Uh, I think it sounds good. Let's find out.
understand why you'd want to do something more with this car. It's not a big block like the Pac, but yeah. it's still 289, why not? Yeah. Oh, man. And you got a port. That, that sounds great. And, uh, one of the things we're going to do here is I'm going for a ride in this one. Yeah, from the back? Oh, yeah. That's a perfect idle right there. Yeah, yeah. I had to hit it because it was fast idle. Beautiful. So, dude, I just I absolutely love this car. And I know we've been talking about doing this video for a while. So I'm a months. glad we, yeah, glad we finally got an opportunity to uh, take a look at it. So, uh, you see all the seals and everything. It's got yeah. a tag. I mean, everything is here. Uh, this car is tight, man. This car is tight. I can't really talk too much bad about it other than the couple little imperfections in the paint that I showed you the chips. Yeah. But that was just, like I said, I think somebody was cleaning on that's, 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 that can be fixed. That's because you're picky. Oh. I know. <laughs> Look, oh. Chris, thanks for sharing your car with us, yeah, man. No I problem, really man. appreciate it. No problem. And uh, we're going to go for a spin in this thing. Yes, sir. Thanks for watching. Okay, we going for a spin in the Falcon. Oh, man, that car sounds so good. Yeah, nice idle. Yeah. That's got to be about 700 on the tank. A little warm today, huh? Yeah, Where it is warm. The mock. Yeah. Already, huh? Yeah. Sounds like it. What do you think? Away we go. I love it. Let's rock. Let's go.